Hello, SpaceX. My name is Max Fagan, and I'm a graduate of Vassar College with a double major in physics and astronomy, and a more recent graduate of Dartmouth College with a bachelor's in mechanical engineering. I've applied to your summer internships twice, and am now applying as a new graduate. If you'd like to see either of my previous application videos, you can view them by clicking here or here. Everything I said in them still stands, so rather than go through them again, let me just take you on a quick overview of some of the work that I've done since I last applied to SpaceX. Since my last application, I've worked continuously at two jobs. The first is as an engineer on the Altair payload, a continuation of a project that I worked on as an undergrad. Altair is a high-altitude balloon package which I and my advisor have been designing in collaboration with the astronomy department at Harvard. Now, the goal of Altair is to loft a precisely calibrated bank of laser diodes to about 100,000 feet, where it can serve as a calibration source for observations of type 1a supernova which are made from the ground. I'm the lead mechanical engineer on this project, which means I've been responsible for the structural design, the interior layout, as well as the cutdown and the recovery system. I've also been responsible for the power systems and the thermal management, the latter of which I'm very proud of. See, due to mass constraints, active thermal management of the payload isn't an option. So I designed a completely passive cooling system, which rejects heat from the lasers and the batteries using the chassis of the payload as a radiator. The design also effectively insulates the payload from extreme cooling that it experiences when it's ascending through the thermopause on the balloon. However, my main focus on Altair for the last year has been on an instrument package that we're designing specifically for this payload. The instrument is an integrating sphere. The integrating sphere takes light in from the laser diodes and projects it in a Lambertian profile back down to the ground. The sphere also serves as a bus for our instruments and photodiodes. Now, in principle, it's a very simple device, but the strict mass limit of six pounds on the entire payload meant that I had to do a great deal of trade-off analysis in order to find the most efficient use of our mass budget. The total weight of the instrument came in only at 200 grams, a number which I'm very proud of given the commercial 600 grams that we would have had to use had we used a commercial unit. My second job in the intervening year has been here at the Thayer School Machine Shop. Now, I worked in the machine shop as an undergrad, but every year, one member of the graduating BE class is selected to serve in a one-year position called the Design Fellow. Now, the Design Fellow's role is threefold. First, my job is to serve as a machinist and a design engineer for the faculty. Anytime one of the professors or the grad students requires a custom-built component for their research, they come to me. My job is to be available at all times as a consultant for design, manufacturing, and machining issues. I particularly enjoyed this portion of the job because, by nature, the components that I have to design are always rushed jobs with very short design cycles where I have to implement, identify, and manufacture my solution in only a matter of days. I also love it because the challenges could come from any field of engineering. During my time here, I've had to work on projects as variety as a bank of mobile solar panels to the design of medical instruments. The second part of my job as design fellow is to serve as an instructor and teaching assistant for undergrads. Thayer School is an extremely project-oriented place, and it's very common for students to come into the shop with questions about design and fabrication. My job is to instruct them on the techniques available to them in the shop and advise them on the most economical way to proceed with their projects. This was especially important this year, because this year, the shop has spent the last six months being completely redesigned. Following on the Fab Lab concept developed at MIT Media Labs, we've purchased over half a million dollars of new machines, each with full CNC capacity, as well as more than triple the workspace available to students. I played a large role in selecting the new machines for the shop, as well as training the students and staff on the use of the new equipment. The third part of my job as design fellow is a bit more open-ended. Formally, I'm asked to complete projects that can be used to promote and advertise the capabilities of the shop to the rest of the school, and which advance my own skills as an engineer. Informally, this means that for about a third of my time, I'm asked and expected to play. Some projects I did under this mandate include a ceremonial bell for the Dartmouth Board of Trustees, which I used to gain additional experience with finite element modeling by designing it to ring at a perfect D when struck. Or the project nearest and dearest to my heart. Because really, while well, going to Mars has always been my number one goal in life, Designing and building my own working lightsaber would easily be on a list of the top ten. So that's a short update of the work that I've been doing since you heard from me last. In summary, 
My work with the Altair payload has continued to expose me to the design of aerospace systems, all the while working under very tight mass budgets. At the same time, my work as design fellow here at the Thayer School of Engineering has continued to expose me to design challenges, as well as enhance my abilities at design for manufacturing and mass production. Well, if you'd like to hear more about the programs which are mentioned in my resume, such as my work with the Microgravity University, my time at the Mars Desert Research Station, or my internship with NASA Academy, you can go back to the beginning of this video and click on either of the links to my previous application videos. You can also see the projects portfolio which I've submitted with my application. As always, my contact information is in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from you very soon. You want to give me a job at SpaceX. You want to send me to Mars on a Falcon 9. And you want to hear me sing about because what self-respecting nerd doesn't want their own working lightsaber?